Hi guys! Are you wondering what was that sound? It's my own customized poppet. It looks something like this. And it makes a funny sound. I would like to show you how to make the same poppet from plastic. Let's go on making it. Put this to the side and let's gather up all our material materials. We need one candle, a spoon, a lighter, and some scissors, but we're going to use them later. And the most important thing is the plastic placemat. Usually we use it for the kitchen to protect the tabletop. You can buy in any like kitchen, a shop. And this is the main thing we're going to be using today. Before you start, you need adult supervision because we are going to use candles and fire. Now we are going to light the candle. My dad will help me out. And kids, do not touch the fire. So now we will put the spoon down and put it on the fire like this. Please ask an adult for help in this step. Beware that you need to count to 25 or 30. I'm gonna count. One, two. Thirty. Now grab the placemat, and then where you wanna do the pop, don't get your hands in there. And then my dad's gonna press on it, the hot, and then the pop comes out. Don't press too much. Take it and flip it over like this. And then you have to wait for two or three minutes until it cools down. It might be still quite hot. Now we've waited three minutes and now we're going to peel the spoon off. You can cut it in any shape you want. You can make it as many pops as you want. So I cut it like this with the pop in the middle. It won't pop from this side like normal pop it, but it will from this side. That's what I call the poppy side. You can make as many pops as you want. I made one and you can make like six or seven or 20,000 if you have a big thing. And it will take a very long time to make that. You can color it any color you want. Guess what? You can make one with a she shell shape like this. If you see the lines, it's a she shell. Like here, you can see them more clearly because I haven't painted that side yet. Look how to make it. Wait for 40 seconds because the seashell needs more time to heat. Notice your seashell has to be thick because if you have a thin one, it can snap. So the seashell has to be like this thick, pretty thick. Flip it over and wait for three or two minutes until it cools down. It might be still quite hot. Now we peel the seashell off and we have a popper. We can play with it. Now I'm gonna cut it. like this, then you can straighten it up, 
like this. And now we're gonna um, color in them both in. I have a box of Sharpies. Here are a few. So I'm gonna color them both. And we also need to blow the candle off. Beware not to put your hand over the candle because it's hot. Now I'm gonna color them in. So I finished coloring. I've done a scuba diver and a clown with a red nose. These are all my homemade puppets. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.